everyone, this is Elaine from Annabella's. Welcome back to floss tube number 95. I am very that happy that you're here and that you're going to spend a little bit of time with me this beautiful Friday morning. It is very cold here in Waynesville, North Carolina. Um, we're expecting maybe a little bit of snow this week. Um, I'm hoping that it'll snow for Thanksgiving. That would be fantastic. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. We do these floss tube videos every Friday. So I hope that you'll like what you see today. And if so, I hope you'll look up, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. That's just going to let you know when I've uploaded a new video or I have some fun news to share. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back every week. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. You mean the world to me. Um, so today's going to be, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a long video or not. I don't think so. Um, I've got some fun things to share with you. I have... Um, uh, some whips. I'm going to show you my Christmas whips that I'm working on. I'm going to show you some new items that came into the shop this week. We've got some beautiful new fabric that's arrived. Um, just a lot of fun things. So sit back, relax, um, maybe stitch along, maybe keep a pad out in case you see something you might want to pick up for a stitchy friend for Christmas. Um, but we can get started right now. Let me give you an update if you're new what our philosophy is here at Annabella's, and that is it's perfectly okay to be perfectly imperfect. And what I mean by that is if you are cross-stitching or quilting or paper crafting or doing anything as a hobby, if you make a mistake, it's okay. Be gentle with yourself. Don't stick your pretty thing in a drawer and forget about it because you made an error. I'm not perfect, and I hope that you subscribe to the same philosophy that you are perfectly okay to be perfectly imperfect. Um, and we didn't coin that hashtag but please feel free to use it and tag us whenever you do an oops but you still proudly gift or display your finished item that would be terrific um okay so christmas cross stitch week starts this sunday if you can believe it we do christmas cross stitch week all year long it's the third week of every month and during that week what we try to do is put aside any of our current whips and focus strictly on christmas and that just gives us a chance throughout the year to really work on those christmas projects and hopefully have some ffos um, by the time december arrives so i'm going to show you what I'm working on uh, for Christmas Cross Stitch Week. And then I hope you will join our Facebook group, which I'll link above, and go ahead and stitch along with us um, each week, uh, each third week of every month. That would be so fun. And we'd love to see your work. So please share your current works in progress uh, in the group itself. And I'll link it below. I said above, but I'll link it below. Okay, let's see what did we have going on this past week. Um, craft tube. So we are a cross stitch quilting and a paper crafting shop. So every Wednesday, uh, we started this past Wednesday, I am recording what is called craft tube. And craft tube is kind of just a spin off of floss tube. Um, but it's strictly about paper crafting and rubber stamping or stamping, card making, mixed media, you know, any type of paper crafting that we all love to do. And I've been paper crafting for more years than I can count. So it, this past Wednesday, I did a real quick video on how to make Christmas tags, uh, a quick Christmas card, and how I also make a coordinating envelope. So it's kind of fun. It's only about 20 minutes long. So feel free to check that out if you'd like. Little update on my treats. Let me get a sip of my coffee real quick. Mm. Can you hear Bella? There she is. So Bella's here and she's in rare form. So I had to lock her in the, in the shop over there because she's making too much noise. Um, retreats. So everybody, um, the all things spring retreat with Teresa Kogut, which is going to be held in her home state of Michigan, uh, opened up, um, the day yesterday, day before yesterday. So if you have not registered, we fully expect that this retreat is going to sell out. So go ahead and go to crossstitchretreats.com and you will find two things there. You will find the information packet, which is going to pretty much answer all of your questions. And you'll also find the registration link. In order for me to include you in this event, you need to fill out the registration form. I'll receive it. And then as soon as I receive it, give me a minute or two and I will go ahead and get you an invoice right out. So we would love for you to join us. Teresa Kogut is simply amazing. And I'm thrilled that she is going to be in her own home state and be able to come and spend a fabulous weekend with all of you. So we're tickled pink. 
you know everybody loves Teresa. So I hope that you're one of the lucky ones that gets to join us in Michigan. And then our All Things Winter Retreat is the first weekend in January, and it's with the great girls over at Primrose Cottage Stitches. So there are a few openings left, so you can go ahead and do the same thing. Go to crossstitchretreats.com and then just click through to the registration form and the information packet, which is right there on the main page. Um, and if you are a member of uh, that group, the uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches Retreat, um, the floss and fabric um, for the exclusive chart that you've already received should arrive today or tomorrow. So as soon as I get it, I'm going to get that all out to you this week so that if you wanted to stitch with the called for fabric and the called for floss, um, we're going to go ahead and provide that to you. What else? Shop news. Oh my goodness, it's just never ending. Um, I haven't even had time to decorate yet. Look at back there. I still got fall stuff going on. I don't even have my Christmas stuff up yet. But we are doing a soft opening on December 1st. So our local needlework shop is going to be opening on December 1st. And Terry and I are thrilled. We're going to be spending the next 10 days or so really running around the shop and getting price tags on everything. And we have a lot of furniture that came in this week. We have a lot of fixtures that came in. So there's going to be a lot of back breaking work, I think, moving things around and getting things set up. And then on Saturday, which is December 17th, we are going to have our grand opening and our Christmas open house. So if you are anywhere near or about Waynesville, North Carolina, or the Western North Carolina mountains, um, we would love to have you attend. And there'll be more information coming about that event um, soon. So let's get to stitchy stuff. Isn't that why everybody's here, stitchy stuff? So let me show you some of my whips. Um, I'm gonna start with that. These are things that I'm working on right now. And I haven't shown you this many uh, at one time in a while. Uh, some of these are repeats because Elaine is perfectly imperfect. And for example, um, I am stitching a uh, Parker. This is the first um, Shepherd's Bush stocking that I've ever made. And we do have a Shepherd's Bush Facebook group now. So please join us. Please join that group. If you love Shepherd's Butch as much as we do, um, we would love to have you stitch along with us. And this is the stocking that I'm making for Terry. It is absolutely gorgeous. So what happened was the called for floss, which I ordered, uh, are all um, pearl, pearl cottons. And the fabric I ordered was um, this fabric right here. It is the call for fabric, but I got it in a different count. Um, let me hold on a second. Let me see what this says. Cause I want to tell you the right thing. Does it even say it? I don't know. Let me see. Da -da -da. Material 18 count natural linen. Okay. So I got an 18 count natural linen, but for some reason, um, the pearl cotton floss, I do not care for. I did not like the way that it looked. So I had done quite a bit of this part of Santa's um, uh, shirt or jacket rather, a uh, coat, <laughs> I can't talk, his coat. And I ended up pulling it all out and starting completely over again with the DMC floss, which I am much happier with. I love the coverage. It's very pretty. It's laying, the stitches are laying perfectly. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I just wanted to let you know that I haven't given up on my stocking. It is a current whip. I work on it almost every day. Um, not so much this week, um, but my plan is to work on it every day that I stitch moving forward and certainly for cross stitch Christmas week. So that is Parker stocking. And Parker is just one. We carry maybe 12 to 14 different Shepherd's Bush stockings. So feel free to check it out in the Etsy shop. Just uh, type in Shepherd's Bush stocking and all of the ones that we have in stock should pop up. Uh, we are out of a couple, but I will place an order tomorrow uh, or tonight actually. I'll place an order tonight um, and I'll have all of the ones that are out of stock back in stock early next week. So don't fret. Okay, the next whip that I have been working on for, I don't know, forever it seems, is a beautiful, beautiful design. It is Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. Now, 
when I started the sit and stitch in that we do every Tuesday, um, this was because I wanted some stitchy friends to stitch along with me. And a lot of us in the group are still stitching this. So you can join our sit and stitch in, which is held every Tuesday. Just send me an email to annabellashop at gmail.com and put sit and stitch in in the subject line and I will add you to the list. Um, so this is the chart. We do have these in stock. It is absolutely stunning. I only made one change. I changed the pink from the called for uh, pink of the house to DMC 224. And this is what it looks like. I can't show you all of this because it won't fit in the screen. But this is what it looks like so far, how much I've done so far. And as you can see, I really love pink. Pink is probably one of my favorite. Let me put this behind there and see if it makes it any better. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, so I wanted to, you know, have a nice bright, not a bright, but a, a, a more vibrant pink. Um, so that is this DMC 224, and I absolutely love it. So I am stitching along. I'm taking my time. I knew when I started this particular uh, design that I was going to have to not do what Elaine likes to do, which is rush. I needed to just enjoy every stitch and get it done when it gets done. So I have not been rushing. I am going, if it takes me a year to finish this and I don't have it ready until next December, that's fine. Um, but I'm thrilled with it. And I hope that you will stitch this up as well. And I hope that you will join our group and stitch along with us um, at the sit and stitching. So that's that one. And then I'm working on all the band samplers by Little House Needleworks. So she has four, one for each season, and this is Winter Band Sampler. And I fell in love with this when I saw it. I kept going back to it over and over again. So I finally went ahead and kitted it up. I'm stitching it on, um, this says beautiful beige, but what's in here is natural. So I don't know if this is on Beautiful Beige or Natural because I have two things in here. But here's my progress so far. And um, I'm, this is a 16 count. Let me see if this is 16 count. This is 16 count. So if that's 16 count, then this is what I'm stitching it on is the Beautiful Beige. So that's how much progress I've made so far. Um, and it's just a great fun stitch. And I just love the way it looks on this fabric. So I will be working on this as well over the coming days. So let me just stick this back in here real quick. Sometimes I go home and I have loose stuff everywhere and I have no idea in the world what goes with what or where in the world I pulled it from. So thank you. Okay, this is a fun one. I don't know if I have these in stock. This is so wrinkled, I'm embarrassed to show it to you. Mm. But I believe we do have these in stock because I think I knew I was going to show it to you. This is the Prairie Schooler. It's called Evergreen. And once again, just something that just grabbed my heart. I fell in love with it when I saw it. I haven't done a lot um, uh, stitching on this, but um, and I may not have even stitched since I've shown it to you last. But let me go ahead and show it to you now. I'm stitching this on 14 count natural brown. I do want it to be a larger piece because I do want to frame it into a large frame and display it uh, in my home. Um, so I am doing this on 14 count natural brown. And that's what I've done so far. Um, just the deer right here. Where is he? Right here in the center. So I'm starting with him. He's actually almost done. So I'm going to move on and probably do the bear next because I love bears. Isn't that pretty? Just love Prairie Schooler. Love, love, love. I was going to do all the Santas this year, and I'm like, you are overly ambitious. Let's just stick with what you have in your whip pile. You know, I could start everything that comes into the shop, but can't do that. Let me ignore this call. I have my phone on because um, my daughter called, uh, my oldest, and she doesn't call me very often early in the morning, and I miss the call. So, mommies, you know, where does your mind go when your out-of-state child calls you at the crack of dawn, you know, in the wrong place? So, leaving it on just in case. Okay, what's in here? I don't know what's in here. Oh, this is the Nutcracker Village. I'm not gonna show you that because that is just a sad excuse for a chart. I have to totally start that one over. But let me show you this one. This I love. This is called A Country Winter by Plum Street Samplers. Can you see how beautiful that is? Now, 
Although this is more like a, a barn style home, um, my grandma Fiorella um, lived in our family home, which is in Buffalo, New York, in a gorgeous, big, white home. So when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. And um, that home was in our family for 60, 70 years. And after my grandma passed, um, our, the home was sold, but I drive by it every time I go to Buffalo. So when I saw that chart, I fell in love with it. So I am stitching mine, not on the called for fabric, which is Confederate gray. I am stitching it on iridescent pink because you know, once again, the pink and I'm loving it. I'm loving the way that this is looking. Um, you can see the iridescent, isn't that pretty? It's a very, very soft pale pink, um, but it's gonna be just beautiful when it's done. So there you go. And I'm gonna do that little snowman. Look how cute he is. I am using all the call for colors and the B5200, um, is it B5200? Let me see what that says. Uh, no, it's white lightning. I, I believe, yeah, she called for white lightning for the white and I think I decided to use B5200 because I wanted it to be very bright on here. And again, you can't really see behind it but um, I, I needed the white to pop and it will um, once I get some more stitches in and some things around it. So that's fun. Really like that chart. Okay, I guess that goes in here. Who knows? Yep, that goes in here. Okay, next, another chart I just adore. And this chart, hold on. Oops, this has to go like this. This goes here. Okay. This one is my beautiful winter wisdom by Cottage Garden Samplings. She has a series. It's called the Songbirds Garden Series. This is number three in the series, and it is called Winter Wisdom. And I fell in love with these colors. I love blues and browns. I've always been attracted to those colors. So um, the called for fabric, which he stitched it on, was a 36 count tin roof linen by Weeks. And I decided that I wanted to stitch it on this really nice uh, blue by Charles Craft. And it is called Light Blue Natural. Look at that. Look how pretty the blues are on here. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm, I'm thrilled with my fabric choice. And again, this is another piece that I wanted to do on 14 count because I want it very large and I'm going to, I have a place already picked out in the log home, perfect for my log home uh, to display it next year, maybe next winter it'll be done. But here you go. It's not necessarily a Christmas piece, but it is a winter piece. So I'll probably stitch this a little bit um, this week as we stitch Christmas cross stitch week. So that's my sweet little winter wisdom and put him away and then let's see what else I have here cardinal kin I worked on that a little bit this past week um, I showed it to you when I first started it this is cardinal kin by plum street samplers uh, the chart is in stock I believe it's in the shop um, you know me, you know how much I love Cardinals and I have been stitching this on 28 count mushroom Lugana and here he is. I did more down here and I started the leaf. So I have quite a ways to go, but that's okay. Um, he's one I do want to have done this year. So I'm going to be working on him quite a bit. I want to have this finished and framed um, and in my home by Christmas. So I have all Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know if we're going to come into the shop over Thanksgiving weekend. And we have a lot to do to get set up to open, but you know, I kind of don't even want to come in. I hope it snows and we get trapped. <laughs> Is that wrong? I know I have to ship stuff and we have things like that to do, but I could do a snow day and just stay in my pajamas and ship all day. I did that last Sunday, as a matter of fact. Sunday, um, we've made a, um, a pact that we're not going to come to the shop at all on Sundays. We don't care. We're just not doing it. We have to have a day of rest. So on Sunday, I literally did not get out of my pajamas from the night before. I stayed in my pajamas and in my robe all day long. It was a wonderful day. I lit a fire in the fireplace. He watched football downstairs in the man cave. I stayed upstairs in the family room and had fires going and my puppies around me and the crazy bird, you can still hear squawking away, um, and just had a 
really, really nice day. Um, so I look forward to many more of those and I hope we get one this weekend and it snows and I don't have to leave. Okay, last whip is my wonderful um, Christmas house that I'm in love with. This is by Pansy Patch. I started this last, when I say last year, I don't mean last Christmas. I started earlier this year to have done by this Christmas. Probably not gonna happen, but this is the chart. Isn't it adorable? Look at this, the reindeer and the sled on the roof. And I love this snowman. So this is what I'm stitching. And I changed the fabric and put it on um, a, a 18 count uh, seafoam green. And this is stitched on, the model is stitched on 36 count oaken by Picture This Plus. And I am stitching it on um, seafoam green by Charles Craft. And the color is perfect. It's just perfect. So I love it. I'll stitch this a lot this week too, I think. So that's it. That's all I have as far as my whips go. So I'm enjoying it. All right, let me see now what I can share with you. So we did the new arrivals. I've got some um, things to show you now. Let me go right into what has come into the shop. We have some new arrivals. Um, before I show you those though, let me show you the Bella bundles that I have put together. Now, these we had at the retreat and I'm going to show you what we put together as far as the fabric by Priscilla and Chelsea from Stitching with the Housewives. So part of what we do as a quilt shop is we put together fabric bundles for our customers because um, you know, they kind of raised their hand and said when they walk into a quilt shop, you know, they prefer to just grab a bundle of fabric that has already been pre-made. It takes the coordinating and the thinking out of it for a lot of our customers. So we do that. We, we assemble colorways and we kind of put everything together for you. So here are uh, some Bella bundles that are now in the shop because these came back from uh, the retreat. We had some extras. We have the orange um, Priscilla's um, ch uh, checks and um, Chelsea's checks and Priscilla's pretty plaids. So this bundle comes just like this. So you'll get uh, two fat quarters. Then we have the Chelsea's checks, the purple and the black with the orange and the cream. Then this is gorgeous. There's Chelsea's checks and um, Priscilla's pretty plaids. <laughs> Then here's some the blues and the darker greens, or a different shade of green. Then we have the reds, very popular, as you can imagine, especially this time of year. Pretty grays. And then last but not least, we do have a three pack, which also includes their stripes. So this is very popular. Once this sells out, we're not gonna have any more, um, but we do carry the, the dark Christmas reds as well. So I thought those were kind of fun just to mention, uh, cause a lot of you are doing uh, finishing right now uh, and hurrying up. So it's great to have these in your stash. You just grab them and you can use them any way that you'd like. We also got in some new woolly charms. Um, this is the tans. So this is new. So here are the tans, love these colors and you can just grab the woolly pack and keep it in your stash. And this one is pinks. And some of these pinks are perfect for Christmas too. You wouldn't know it. And the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but they're not like candy uh, baby pink. They're more of a pinkish red, I guess. Then we got the blacks in, which are great. So here we go, these are the blacks. There you go. These are all the blacks. Then we have the Prim Pumpkin, which is nice. These are great to have. And then last are the reds. These are what I would call more of a, a true Christmas red. So these are all here. Now let me just address something real quick. In the past, these packs came with two buttons, okay? They're not doing that anymore. So the manufacturer, um, I'm sorry, the distributor that we order these from has not changed the photos um, to update 
um, the item. So you, you might see two buttons um, on my Etsy shop and then this arrives and you're like, where are the buttons? That's just the photo from the distributor, um, but the, the, the manufacturer uh, in the patch designs is no longer attaching buttons. So it's probably a cost thing or a supply chain thing, but uh, no buttons. If you're lucky enough to get them, that's great. Um, but you know, there's no buttons that are gonna be coming <laughs> because they just don't make them. Um, so there you go. But I just wanted to point that out because I don't want anybody to get mad if they get a woolly pack in the mail and they're like, where's my buttons? Cause I got one lady that's not happy. She didn't get her buttons. So she's just gonna have to send them all back because I can't manufacture buttons. I'm not a button maker. Okay, um, well, because I'm on that stuff, let me show you the fabric that came in from Needle Bling so that you're aware of this, okay? And then I'll go on to the charts. Needle Bling Designs, this is Butter Crunch. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is Butter Crunch. This is 28 count. I have one yard, and I will cut this up into a fat quarter so it will be available in the shop as fat quarters only so I'll have four fat quarters available of butter crunch then we have oh wait I have two yards who knew so I have two yards of butter crunch so I'll have eight fat quarters in the shop available then I have pumpkin pie 28 count it's gorgeous look at that modeling 28 count pumpkin pie I will have um Everything that I'm saying I'm gonna have eight fat quarters on, I'm not, I'm gonna have seven because Elaine's gonna take one home of each. So this is pumpkin pie. So there'll be seven of these available. Once they're gone, they're gone because I, this is an order that I placed at the Needlework Expo. And that is just how long it has taken to receive it. I just got these this past week. So um, once they're gone, they're gone. So then this is Yellowstone, gorgeous. Seven of these will be available in the shop. Then this one's absolutely my favorite. This is Shrekie's Tan. Isn't that nice? Shrekie's Tan. And there'll be seven of those available. So that is the beautiful fabric by Needle Bling Designs. We are so thankful that they were able to get that to us. You know, like any fabric um, designer right now, um, it is tough stuff. So thank you so much, Needle Bling, finally for getting us our, our fabric. It was worth the wait. Okay, let me show you some others real quick. Dress it up. We, we do carry all of their buttons because a lot of you use it for finishing, and so do I, both in paper crafting and in um, cross stitch. Um, we just got in Nativity. So that is the Nativity. And these are tiny. See how tiny they are? So look how tiny the little horse is. He's really, really tiny. Or the donkey. There you go. And then this one is the Good Shepherd, which I love. So you've got the angel and you've got the Good Shepherd and the, sh the lamb. Um, so there you go. All right, Bird Brain Designs, got in two charts. Uh, these were out, they're back. This is Stitcher's Festive Bowl Fillers. So this is not holiday related, but these are, um, there's a tomato, there's quite a few tomatoes, um, but there's all kinds of fun things on here. There's six bowl fillers. Can you see them? There you go. And you can stitch these up. Um, the call for DMC fabric is listed as well as the fabric requirements on the back. So it's very easy to follow. And they're very fun, love bird brain designs. Then this is back, oh my gosh, I have to take this one out because it's so cute. This is called Snowman by the Dozen. Look, oh, aren't those so cute? So let me just tell you what these are. So this, you get a set of 12 snowman and each of them, when you when you embroider them, hand embroider is three and a half by five. So they're not very big. You use three quarters of a yard of muslin, a fat quarter of any type of blueprint cotton fabric you want and a third of a quarter of quilt batting. So it's not bad at all. And then um, DMC 3400 or uh, 3405, I believe is the two colors, or you can use uh, pearl cotton. Uh, to stitch. So very fun, very cute. And we just got those back in. Here's I'm going to choke. Hold on one moment. Let me see if I can talk without choking. Baby, it's cold outside. One of our favorite top selling dish towel sets for hand embroidery. Um, this is back in stock, waited forever, but it's here. It's one dish towel, 
Dish towel's about 18 by 27 when you're done. And it's adorable. So there you go. <coughs> Kathy Schmitz, one of our other favorite uh, hand embroidery designers. Uh, we have two charts, or uh, two kits based, not kits, what in the world are these? <laughs> two charts um, back in stock. First one is Deck the Bows. Can you look at these? I love them. This Christmas, I do not have time to do these, but I love them. If any of you do these and you've purchased it from Annabella's, please tag us and share because we would love to see how these turn out. So this is by Kathy Schmitz. Um, back tells you exactly what you need to order or to buy or to pull out of your stash. Very fun, uh, very popular um, pattern, hand embroidery pattern. Then we have scented Christmas bowlies. These are huge, huge seller, just adorable. You get a complete set of all eight for you to hand stitch. Uh, you've got more than enough time to get these done before Christmas. Um, back tells you what you need. And again, you don't have to use any of the fabric that they call for. I highly recommend that you go to your stash first and use what you have in your stash, especially your scraps, because you don't need big pieces, right? You just need little pieces. So there you go. Okay, what time is it? Oh, 30 minutes. I'm talking a lot today. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you the charts that came in. Um, I'm going to show you Annabella's first, only because it's sitting on top. I showed you the FFOs of these charts last week, so I'm not going to show them to you again. But I will show you the charts because uh, they're back from the printer. And these are available uh, exclusively at Annabella's today. And then this week, they'll be available at uh, Yarn Tree and um, Hoffman's and also at Witchell if you're, if you're a shop. Okay, here is our sweet little Roscoe the Raccoon. Look at him. <clears throat> and if you're new to Annabella's, our Pillow Pals are cute little animals that um, we design and dress them up uh, for each holiday. So the only other Pillow Pals that are out are the Autumn Pillow Pals. So you can look in the shop for Pillow Pals and the Autumn ones will come up. But now we also have Roscoe the Raccoon who is all ready for Christmas. So there you go. Then we, are in, we have um, Skylar the Squirrel with his snowballs and the snow on his tail. So there we have Skylar the Squirrel. Ollie the Owl seems to be one of everybody's favorite. Sweet little Ollie the Owl. Just waiting for Santa to put some presents under that tree. And this uh, time we are introducing for the first time Hazel the Hedgehog. She will join her friends from now on. Every time we do a Pillow Pals release, you will find Hazel the Hedgehog. Isn't she sweet? There you go. You know what I just realized? Because I'm perfectly imperfect. I wanted to put a little Christmas bow in her hair and I didn't. So see, everybody makes mistakes. So Hazel's supposed to have a bow. You should put a bow in if you stitch her. Let me, let me see if you do. Okay, we have a, a, a series called Memorable Months. And every month we do a design and we release it to you. This month is November. So this is our Memorable Months November and I love it. Now what I've done here is I've taken two, look at my terrible nails, I didn't wanna show you. I took a little button here and there's a little apple button here. And I got these buttons from our uh, button collection that we carry in the shop. I think it's Fall Findings. Um, but you'll see it if you go on there and you know, it's just a cute little apple I put there and just a cute little leaf I put there and I finished this off on a board that I got from Hobby Lobby um, I made the button here the cloth button from Chelsea's checks and then I had some Moda um, Solid green that matches perfectly that I also use as a backing fabric very quick and easy finish and just a burlap bow So there you go. That's November and then if you're looking for a quick stitch to do over Thanksgiving holiday, the next three are a great idea. Here we have our Pilgrim. Look how stinking cute he is. He's so adorable. And again, I just use a little button here, but we have our little Pilgrim. Then everybody loves cornucopias. So here's a really pretty cornucopia that I just finished off into a little pillow. And then last but not least, Tom Turkey. Here he is, look how cute he is, our little Tom. Wouldn't that be a fun stitch for Christmas? And these are quick stitches. So one of the things that we try to do, my daughter and I, is to do very quick stitches that you can stitch up in a couple of days um, with very quick finishes. So, um, you know, I'm a stitcher, I've been stitching for, you know, 
30 something years, I think, even longer, maybe. I don't want to tell you how long, a lot longer than that. Um, but when I want a quick stitch, I want a quick finish. So, you know, we put together some quick finishes for you and show you how to do those so that if you do get, um, you know, the desire to stitch one of our designs, you can quickly finish it up as well. All right, let's show you some of the wonderful, fabulous designers who we have got some beautiful new charts in. Looks Like Christmas by Shannon Christine. We've had this for a couple of years. It continues to be one of our very top sellers. It's just timeless, isn't it? It is absolutely timeless. So this is called Looks Like Christmas. She stitched this on 14 count fabric um, using two strands, all DMC. Uh, she does not say what color the fabric is, but I'm sure you can find something in your stash that is similar. Then Calico Confectionery. Um, this uh, was popular last year. We brought it back this year. Winter, a time to rest. How true is that? Just finished off in a little pillow and placed in a dough bowl. Very cute with some pine around it. Then Twin Peak Primitives. Um, I have to show you this because, you know, I swore that I was not going to start any more Christmas whips uh, this year. I had, that was it. You saw what I've got. It can be a lot, um, but I just pull one or two, you know, every week and work on it. But when this chart came in and I saw it, I literally took it, kitted it, took it home. It is sitting there. I was supposed to start it last night, but I'm still finishing up some models that I have to finish up this week. And as soon as the model stitching is done, I'm starting this. It is called Christmas Party by Twin Peak Primitives. I just can't. Look at this. I love it. Absolutely love it. So this is in stock. And this is brand new. Look at this. Isn't they, aren't they adorable? Look. Love Twin Peak. So this just arrived. Also, we have All is Ready for Christmas. Beautiful. I love it. Love the farm animals. And last is gorgeous. This is called Gift Delivery. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful. Now, for those of you who are going to ask, let me go ahead and jump ahead and tell you what these are all stitched on. If I can figure out how to open the chart because my fingers are not working. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> who knew? This is stitched on 16, 8 to 16 count. It says 8 to 16 linen 32. Does that make sense to you? Um, let me see. Model is stitched on 16 count natural Ada as two over one. There are eight colors in the pattern, all DMC. So there you go, very easy to kit up. I kitted mine up yesterday. Um, I'm not stitching anything on 32 count in this lifetime, I don't think. I'm still working my way up, but I have some linen in my stash at home, so we'll see what Elaine decides to stitch hers on. But I will start Christmas party um, this week and I will have it to show for you next Friday. Last but not least, we got in the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. This is their Christmas edition. You guys, this is amazing. There is 31 projects in this magazine. Now, I think it's equally divided between cross stitch and um, Punch Needle. Um, the designers in here, plus you get a, a bonus um, from Vonna Pfeiffer of the Twisted Stitcher on a finishing. Um, here are all of the designers and charts that are included. So I can't read them to you because the camera's upside down or backwards, but you can see all of these amazing designers. And <clears throat> this magazine is beautiful. Let me see if I can find one to show you. Well, I know you all love Priscilla and Chelsea, so let me show you Priscilla and Chelsea's. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? So you got Priscilla and Chelsea. Let me see who else we can just pull out. I'm not pulling these in any particular order. I'm just kind of flipping through. Here is a punch needle Victorian greeting card. Isn't that beautiful? I need to learn to punch needle. Is it hard? Can someone tell me is punch needle hard? I know my friend Kathy Archer, uh, who came to the retreat in um, Asheville, told me that punch needle is not hard, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Somebody needs to, to edify her. <laughs> tell me if that's right before I go and try this because I don't want to get frustrated. So here's Vanna's, um, uh, the Twisted Stitcher. So there's that. Look at that. Whoops, I didn't mean to show you that chart. Um, 
And she has a tutorial that's gonna show you how to finish this off. And that tutorial is how to make a Santa tree topper. So there you go, you're gonna get that in there. And then um, you all know I just finished stitching um, Comfort and Joy by Misty over at uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. In the magazine, look what she's included, Merry and Bright. So I'm gonna be stitching this because I wanna display it with my Comfort and Joy, which looks like it's part of that series. It's just beautiful. So we have some of these left in stock. Once they're sold out, they're sold out. Um, and we'll ship them right to you if you'd like. So that's all I have today as far as that goes. Let me see if I left anything out. Happy Mail. Happy Mail is all caught up. Um, so we're going to go back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> and, and every week, now that we got through whatever that was, um, we're going to be back with our Happy Mail. So we love to give you Happy Mail. Um, we just ask you a question. If you're new to the channel, you have to do a few things. You have to be a subscriber to the channel. You have to be over the age of 18 so I can ask for your mailing address and you have to comment on the question posed. So this week's question is, what is your number one favorite, number one favorite Thanksgiving tradition or favorite Thanksgiving memory? You can only, you can only tell me one thing. So please go ahead and do that. Make sure to use the word memory or tradition uh, in your comment. And that makes it easy for the random comment picker to select all of you uh, to choose from. So please do that. And um, we will announce names next week on Floss Tube number 96. So I hope everyone has an absolutely beautiful Thanksgiving. I hope you get to spend a lot of time this coming you know, holiday weekend with all of those people that you love. I hope you enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, Terry and I are gonna be home. I'm gonna cook. It's gonna be wonderful. We're not going anywhere. Um, and I'm just looking forward to a lovely Thanksgiving here for the first time in many, many years in our beautiful log home in Western North Carolina. So I hope I will see you on Tuesday for our sit and stitch in or Wednesday for craft tube or next Friday right here for floss tube number 96. Until then, everyone be happy, be well, and most of all, be kind. See you soon.